Good morning, welcome to the mock interview for the ITSM change manager position. Please introduce yourself and tell us about your background in IT change management. Good morning, thank you very much for having me. My name is Opis Singh and I have six years of experience in IT change management. I have worked with various organizations, top clients, implementing changes that minimize disruptions and enhance service quality. I am familiar with ITL frameworks and have a strong background in managing change processes. I was working as a change manager in my last organization. What experience do you have with IT change management? Sure. In my previous role, I managed a team responsible for implementing software updates across the organization. I ensured smooth implementation by conducting thorough risk assessments and then communicating effectively with stakeholders and then scheduling the changes during maintenance windows. And finally, me and my team provide a proper change implementation on time and with proper, you know, uh, take care of things. How do you manage resistance to change? Okay. Uh, you know, I address resistance by understanding the concerns of the stakeholders and then finally communicating the benefit of the change clearly. We have all these things ready in advance so that the customer can look it even after the change is implemented. I also involve customers in the decision-making process and provide support during the transition. How familiar are you with ITIL and how do you apply it in change management? Well, I would say I have good knowledge. I have well versed in ITIL particularly in service transition phase, which is the core of change management, where change management plays a crucial role. I apply ITL principles to ensure that changes are assessed, authorized, and implemented with minimal disruptions to the IT services. This leads to happy customer, and this leads to good matrices for whole our team. Can you walk us through your process for implementing change within an organization? Certainly, uh, my process involve uh, uh, assessing the need for change and then evaluating the impact, which is very important. And then we have to obtain the necessary approvals from appropriate teams, okay? And then finally implementing the change. And after that, we have to monitor its success. We ensure that the changes are implemented on time within the implementation window and when less number of users are online. It means during night or, you know, late hours so that if in case we have an issue, there will be less interruption of the services. I also ensure that the stakeholders are informed thoroughly about the process. Describe a time when a change did not result as expected. How did you handle it? Well, this is a part of any change manager's life. You know, we don't want that, but uh, it happens sometimes. Uh, so one time a software update causes unexpected downtime. I quickly assessed the situation, communicated fairly with stakeholder and worked with the technical team to resolve the issue promptly. Okay. Uh, we implemented a rollback plan as well and schedule additional testing to prevent similar issues which will happen in future. We have not gone into the blame game. Okay. We understand the issue was from technical team and then we assess this properly and then we shared it effectively with the customer and the customer was very happy though they are uh, not happy with the change but they are happy that they, their work is in, in the hand of you know good team which is transparent and i would say uh, it was a good move and it was a big lesson for all of our team as well how would you communicate a major technology change to non-technical stakeholders yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I would use clear, non-technical language to explain the change and all its benefits. I would also provide visual aids in the screenshot or something like that and offer uh, training sessions to help them and understand and adapt the change as well. What tools and software are you familiar with regarding change management? Yeah, sure. I am familiar with the tools like ServiceNow, Jira, and Microsoft Project. These tools help in tracking changes, managing workflows, and ensuring compliance 
with the change management process. As well as I am continuously updating my knowledge with respect to the latest changes which are happening, latest news with respect to change management, latest innovations as well, so that I incorporate all these things into my work and make it better. How do you assess the potential impact of a proposed change? So in that case, I conduct a thorough risk assessment considering both technical and business impacts. It includes uh, uh, you know, evaluating potential downtime, resource requirements, and stakeholder feedback. All these things must be checked in order to assess the impact properly. Okay. How do you ensure transparency during the change process? Uh, I try to maintain open communication channels with stakeholders and providing them uh, regular updates on the status of the changes and involve them in the decision-making process wherever possible. We always try to update the change record as well. Always try to you know uh, attach any kind of attachment which are there, which the client should know. All these steps we are taking to make sure transparency is there. Describe your experience with integrating technology changes into business processes. Uh, so, yes, I do have experience in integrating new software systems into existing workflows. This involves assessing business needs, training users, and ensuring that the technology aligns with the organizational goals. In my current project, uh, we are using ServiceNow to design and develop workflows, okay? And uh, ServiceNow has various capabilities to integrate with various third-party systems. So we are using, you know, Flow Designer and Integration Hub to make it possible. And I would say it is really helping us a lot. How do you track and measure the success or failure of a change implementation? Uh, yeah, sure. We are uh, obviously measuring the success or failure after the change implementation. So I'm using a mix of both qualitative and quantitative matrices, such as stakeholder satisfaction change adoption rates, and performance measure post-implementation. All these things provide a comprehensive insight into the success of a change initiative. And finally, we are sharing all these things with the uh, uh, top management, with our CTO as well, and they are taking appropriate action and decisions based on these results. Can you describe a time when you had to consider multiple stakeholders' perspectives when managing a change? Uh, yes. In my current company, in my current role, I managed a change uh, that affect multiple departments. So in that case, I engaged with the, each department to understand their needs and concerns, ensuring that the change was tailored to meet everyone's requirement. We also make sure there is no overlap okay there is no friction with respect to demand with respect to integration of these departments and the project will go smooth and everyone will be happy and finally the change get implemented without any objection but the needs are fulfilled accordingly under which itil life cycle phases do you find incident problem and change management uh, so all these processes are primarily found in the service operation and service transition phase of ITI lifecycle. Incident management is a key in service operations, while change management is central to service transition. And finally, the problem management bridges both phases by identifying the root cause of incidents. What are the objectives of change management? So in my view, uh, the primary objective of change management are to ensure that the changes are assessed, planned, uh, implemented, and reviewed in controlled manner, minimizing the risk and disruption to the IT services while maximizing the business benefits. Can you explain the seven RS of change management? Okay. So in case of change management, the seven R includes who raised the change? What is the reason for the change? What return is the change likely to deliver? It means the objective. What risk does non-implementation of change poses? What resources are required for the change? 
and at number six who are responsible for the change and finally what relationship does this change have with others so these seven r's okay help ensure that the changes are implemented effectively without causing the disruption thank you for your time today do you have any questions for us i am fine at the moment and i would like to say once i am in the team i will be a good uh, team player and i would love to join the team thank you so much